On this edition of Test Drive, we take a look at a car that is new in all but name. This is the Chevrolet Malibu, a family sedan GM have very high hopes for. It was the young Graham Fletcher with a brand new Malibu way back in 1997. Fast forward 12 years, and the Malibu is new once again, and so is the competition. The Malibu's been around since 1964. That was the first generation Malibu. This is the eighth generation Malibu. The midsize segment is the second largest car segment in Canada, so obviously it's very important you know, for us to have a great product in that segment. The Malibu for me, uh, as well, I've always had a love-hate relationship with it. When I first came to, to North America, I can remember the 60s and 70s, two-door Malibu coupes that were beautiful. Then all of a sudden, it just all went wrong. You know, we had those square kind of lunch boxes. Well, this is completely redesigned. The car is a little wider. I mean, the interior is all new. Three great new powertrains. I mean, there's nothing carryover in this product at all. It is the brand new Chevrolet Malibu. It's a new era. It's got the European look to it. It drives like a cross European American car. And I think it's the right direction. Uh, people like European cars. Uh, this is not necessarily a European car. It's got a bit of American flair to it. And I think it's going to appeal to people. I really get it. Uh, the three engines available are the brand new 2.5 liter. Um, it is the most powerful engine in the segment for as far as a base engine. We also have the Eco for those that are really concerned with fuel economy and want the best fuel economy they can get. And for those that want an up-level and powerful mid-size sedan, we'll offer the 2.0 liter turbo engine. Characteristic of Chevrolet's, it has the distinct Chevy dual port grille. On top of that, you've got a much more athletic stance. The car has more shoulders. It seems to have more substance, I think. General Motors has done a great job on the interior of this new Malibu. Plenty of room in the back seats. However, when I'm driving, looking at the steering wheel of the instrument cluster, it reminds me of another Chevy. Well, it wasn't until I had a look at the taillights that I realized what car that was, the Chevy Camaro. Yeah, I said certainly from the rear end, you know, we've carried over the square tail lamps that you see in the Camaro. I mean, it isn't a Camaro, but again, the car the car looks good from the rear. Yeah, it's a dual cockpit interior. Um, again, you know, very Camaro-esque with the large gauges up front and, and everything available within the driver's reach. You know, you could put a small country in the trunk of this new Malibu, it's that big. However, if you choose the Eco version, you may potentially get better fuel economy, but you're gonna be traveling lighter. You lose a little luggage space for the battery pack, but you gain it in fuel economy. The Eco basically is still using an internal combustion engine, but available with that is electric motors and a battery pack. So the electric motors help start the car from a standstill and they provide assist for the gasoline motor. You know, the interiors on today's GM product are so superior to previous generations and I credit Bob Lutz for that. And it's no different in this Malibu, a real luxury feel to this cabin. And also I'm on a very rough road, but the ride is extremely quiet. You've also got little places to put your stuff and the interior lighting is pretty cool. In fact, they call it cool ice blue, which is why I always say if you're gonna test drive a vehicle, do it at night also. A lot of money is spent on the interior lighting, and believe me, it can be a deal breaker. Uh, you know what, the interior is very nice on this car. Very, very nice. Um, it's got a good look from, from the outside too. You know, Maybe it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to it because it's, this is a little bit of a European car. It's based on the, uh, on the GM Open, right? Um, it might take a little bit of getting used to it, but I think once people get into it and see what it is and what it offers, I think they're gonna be happy. There's a lot of competition, everything um, from Ford to Toyota to Honda. They, you know, everybody's there and everybody's got a great car, but we've got a car that exceeds them. This isn't a book club, but there is a book I'd like you to read in your glove box. More later on Kenzie's Corner.